the introduction of rockets opened mankind to the beauty of space. As many people desire to go to space, there are many of those trying to make their homemade rockets. Here are some of the amazing homemade rockets that did make it into the space. DART Project With an aim to fly above 50,000 feet on a sugar propellant, this required a newly developed boasted DART. The rocket construction was very simple. The booster motor had threads on both ends. The booster fin can was screwed on the aft end and a short section of aluminium tube holding the booster electronics and parachute was screwed to the forward end of the motor. Then the transition cone was attached to the booster. The dart fin can assembly was made from stainless steel. Dart fins were also made from stainless steel and were laser welded to the fin can. The body tube was made from filament winded fiberglass. When the button was pushed more than a ton of thrust made sure that the thing started to move quickly. The booster burned out in for 3.5 seconds to an altitude of 40,000 feet. Then the dart successfully separated and coasted for more than 50 seconds to a total altitude of 57,359 feet. The parachute was deployed at Apogee and the dart safely landed 8 kilometers from the launch site. Heroes 3 the hybrid experimental rocket Stuttgart 3 was launched from the European Space and Sounding Rocket Range Space Center to an apogee altitude of 106,000 feet. This set a new altitude record for European student and amateur rocketry and a world altitude record for hybrid rockets, built by students at the time. The rocket was powered by a 10 knots design thrust hybrid rocket engine with a paraffin-based fuel and nitrous oxide as the oxidizer. The combustion efficiency was verified to be above 97% in ground tests. The rocket structure was made completely from lightweight carbon fiber and glass fiber with reinforced plastic. The rocket was successfully recovered with the drogue and main parachute being released. Phoenix 4 with their experience in 2015, Kurt Von Delius launched another amateur rocket on June 16, 2018, from an austere site in the Black Rock Desert located in northwestern Nevada. Von Delius' two-stage Phoenix 4 rocket attained an altitude of 244,000 feet, easily overshadowing the previous record of 120,000 feet for an amateur, two-stage rocket. A camera on board the spinning vehicle captured the curvature of Earth's horizon. It touched down more than 6 miles away. At maximum speed of Mach 3.53 is compared to a high-velocity rifle bullet. This type of launch classification also required military approval and permits. It took five years of research, testing and construction to build the Phoenix 4. The entire project, including design and components, was completed at his Maricopa home in the garage. Dark Shadow 2. Air Command Rockets has mastered the art and challenges to building water rockets. With their latest water rocket reaching 3,155 feet may seem a little bit small compared to its counterparts, but it's actually a huge achievement for water rocketry. Dark Shadow 2 was set up as with previous launches and filled with 1.8 liters of water. The timer delay was set to 11 seconds and brought the pressure up slowly to 740 pound per square inch and launched. The rocket went up beautifully and deployed the parachute right at apogee. It then drifted down to a gentle landing a few hundred meters away. Vulcan 1 the Vulcan 1 rocket was designed by the SEDS UCSD team in an attempt to be the first student team in the world to successfully fly and recover a rocket powered by a 3D printed engine. The rocket was powered by the team's second 100% 3D printed engine named Ignis, designed to be a stepping stone for larger, more powerful engines. The rocket was liquid-fueled in a blowdown system by liquid oxygen and jet A propellant spanning 19 feet in length, with a diameter of 8 inches. On May 21, 2016, SEDS UCSD became the first undergraduate organization in the world to successfully launch a rocket powered by a 3D printed engine. Vulcan 1 was launched in the Mojave Desert at the Friends of Amateur Rocketry site and soared to approximately 40,000 feet before returning to the surface.
Traveler 4. Traveler 4 was a 8-inch diameter vehicle launched in the spring of 2019 out of Spaceport in America. The vehicle reached an apogee altitude of 339,800 feet at a speed of Mach 5, claiming the record for highest altitude ever reached by a student-built and designed vehicle in the world. Traveler 4 is the first fully student-designed and student-built vehicle to pass the Karman line with a confidence of 90%. The vehicle was recovered a short drive from the launch site. The paint of the rocket had completely burned off, and excessive heating was seen on the fin's leading edges. Chu 8K Launched from Black Rock Desert in Nevada on September 30th in an attempt to win John Cormack's 100 KFT Micro Prize, Derek DeVille at his home, built the Chu 8K rocket which reached an altitude of 121,000 feet after 92 seconds flight and captured some excellent video footage along the way. Using a custom-built launch tower, Chu 8K made a safe return in a parachute descent that took another 7.5 minutes. It was fully recovered only 3 miles from the launch site. The Chu 8K's rocket used APCP rocket propellant to give it a maximum velocity during the ascent of 3,200 feet per second. Thunderstruck 5 Thunderstruck 5 was the culmination of a dream by an Australian man and his 12-year-old son to build the world's smallest craft that was able to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere and land safely. In 2015 their design was proven to be a success. The family from Sydney built the 8-foot-long craft in their backyard. By using solid fuel, they were able to achieve speeds equivalent to twice the speed of sound and controlled the craft by remote, at speeds of up to 1,200 miles per hour. So far all of their design tests have worked out, but it'll be a long road until their full design is realized. They hope to be able to finally be able to guide a re-entry within the next few years, and if this is a success, their progress so far it could open up a new realm of spaceflight based in Australia. Go fast. The Civilian Space Exploration Team, known as CSXT, is a team of around 30 civilians interested in private space flight. The team was created by Kai Michelson. Having conducted multiple rocket launches in an attempt to establish altitude records, CSXT became the first entity to officially launch an amateur rocket into space on May 17, 2004, with the successful launch of its GoFast rocket to 116 km altitude, an altitude verified by FAA analysis of the team's flight data. That's all for today's video, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and then subscribe. You can also watch other videos from this channel by clicking on those popping videos.